I've got a really low attention span. If something doesn't instantly grab me, I move on. Fair enough. <laughs> that's that, I was I was a lot I was very much like that as a kid actually. That's why I never got into uh, Resident Evil games. All that basically happened was uh, I run around, I try and kill every zombie I see, I get killed, and then I'm like, well, that's a shit game, and throw it aside. <laughs> of course, that's not how I feel about nowadays. I wouldn't be playing them otherwise. If I did enjoy them, I wouldn't be playing them. At all. Ooh, this place looks fancy. Are these pictures of uh, well known? Oh, pure white candlestick. It's also illustrated. I'm not pressing any buttons because this is now reminding me of the. Uh... Oh well, someone smashed that. Something's within the base. In memory of Alexander Ashford's successor. Alexander Ashford's successor. And this is Family Master. Guess you just successor and family master of the family. I hereby present you with a earthenware vase, according to the Ashford family tradition. Okay. It's been known as tradition as first began but presented a gold tea cup as a commemorative to Veronica as founder of the Ashford family. Her intelligence and beauty are legendary. Okay. Second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope that they achieved glory as Veronica did before them. And the master shifted from Sir Thomas. Da, 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 da. Oh god. I'm gonna need a fucking pen, aren't I? <sighs> Unfortunately, the only pens I seem to have here are broken at the minute. Ah. There we go, right. Okay, so the first was Veronica. This is going to be like that bloody painting puzzle in the uh, first Resident Evil game, isn't it? Uh, Veronica. Yeah, puzzle time. <laughs> Right, I'm guessing this is how it's going to be. Veronica, Stanley Thomas, O M A S, Arthur. And shifted to Arthur. T H U R. It then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. So Edward. And then uh, it's Sir uh, Alfred, isn't it? Who's the chap? R E D. Uh, grandfather, that was when the Ashford family enjoyed his golden age. It's also Sir Edward's achievement to establish the large chemical place in Blink. Sir Edward passed away, and your father, Alexander, okay. I'm hoping I'm correct here. <laughs> Position glorious. Ashford, I think. Silly, blah blah blah. Right, now. Something doesn't even make sense, then along comes Zero with this animal. Oh, that. Yeah, that animal puzzle. Fuck that animal puzzle. <laughs> it was a fun game, but. I mean, that listening with Zero was quite fun, and I had some really interesting puzzles to it but wow fuck that animal puzzle just wow
Yeah, I see. No, don't push the button yet. I'm gonna first push the other buttons. Alright, who's this? A beautiful woman. The only one I mentioned was Veronica, so Veronica... Oh shit, they know to give their names! Oh, bollocks. I was hoping they'd give their names and I could just... Well, it seems like Veronica's the only woman in this bit, so it's clearly not... Uh... She's clearly number one there. Oh, the ones we have to play Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> yeah, with, with with Jill, she just does it. With uh, Chris, he can't do it. So he has to wait for Rebecca to get good enough at the bloody piano to do it. All right, shit, we're going to have to look at this file again, aren't we? That's it. Right, let's try this again. <laughs> I mean, with Veronica, it's obvious that she's a, uh, she's the woman. And she's the only one in the fucking thing that's a woman. So that's easy. That's done. Woman. Done. Uh... So Alfred, he gave him an earthenware vase. So... I hope the butler doesn't have to pay for it themselves. Assholes. So, okay, Alfred had got the earthenware vase. I'm guessing it's he's the big picture at the top there. Golden teacup to Veronica. Sitting the third masters. Obsidian with teacups. Okay. So if they're both presented with teacups, how am I meant to guess which one's which? Family master from Thomas to his brother Arthur. So they're twins. Not too far off from how historians must trace a family history. <laughs> I've actually got a family history uh, hanging around the place. My dad has it. I need. Uh, I think we've got it um, stored, especially. But my uh, my grandfather, on my mum's side of the family, did a lot of tracking down. There was some interesting stuff in that. Yeah, they gave him out like sweets back then. Yeah. Unfortunately, quite a few infamous people have got knighthoods as well. So that's not always. Uh, that's also not too good. <laughs> So Stanley would be the one with the T, uh, with the, Stanley would be the one with the twins, Thomas would have the teacup, uh, 
uh, turns and uh, then went to Edward, your grandfather. Uh, I'm just going to make notes of Umbrella Inc. Yeah, all well, things considered, it's not a good club to be in. Very true. I mean, uh, one one people, for example, I don't know if they can take a knighthood back or not, but I would assume they must have, They, if they can, they would have done it for Jimmy Savile, for example. Because Jimmy Savile had a knighthood due to all of his uh, uh, money that he raised for charity and that. Before the world found out what a monster he really was. Enjoy the team cut puzzle. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> Glorious position began to sink. Is that a hint? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. I think it's time to brew up for oh, Steve. Right. Stanley Ashford had twins, and he was the one after Veronica. So I think he had twins. Yeah, he had twins. One of the twins had a teacup. Didn't say what the other twin had. He's also red wear, so I'm guessing he had the other wear plate. Okay. So he's the twin. Um, umbrella ink. Right, what does it say on that, that bloody thing? In memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. So that must be Alexander. If that's Alexander, then this must be Edward. Okay, and then that's Alexander, then this is the, uh, what's his name? Was I right? And then he turned into a girl! <laughs> well, it's been his twin sister, but I'm sceptical at this point. There is a twin sister. Oh, there's something inside, yep. Da 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 da! The Queen Ant. Whew. This is why I wonder about RE puzzles. Do the bad guys have to do this shit every time they get made to be? I did make that joke before in the past, saying about, uh, wow, imagine. Because, uh, for example, Resident Evil 2, the police station was based on a mansion. It was like a mansion that was turned into a police station and there's so many puzzles with things to go through in that game that it had to be a joke it was just a joke of you know imagine trying to go to the bathroom in this place or uh, I made a joke about oh if I had the money wouldn't it be funny if I made little mechanisms like this oh you can't you can't go to the bathroom unless you solve this three-pronged puzzle <laughs> you have to hang up two separate items of the same weight 
<laughs> or you know, just something stupid like that. I mean, it is an obvious point that we can see the police didn't blow their budget on stupid logs. Maybe they're sort of the zombies out instantly. <laughs> Probably. <laughs>